All right, there we go. We did it. Oh, I'm so happy it worked. Oh, that was so nice. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we're going to be testing out a very, very silly deck of my own creation just to see if it works. Uh, but before we jump into that, if you are not already, please feel free to subscribe. It would really mean a lot if you would join our community, be a part of the It Resolves group here. Uh, we certainly welcome newcomers and we're very, very happy to say we've got such a positive community that we would love for you to be a part of. So please do hit that subscribe button. There's a join button there as well if you would like. We do try and go live every once in a while here on YouTube now, uh, and you do unlock emotes and things like that. So just consider it. Uh, but let's talk about this deck. So this was all built around Augur of Autumn, uh, a two, three for three. Uh, you can look at the top card of your deck at any time. You can play lands from the top of your deck, and then it also has Coven. So as long as there are three or more creatures with different powers uh, that you control, you can cast creatures uh, from the top of your deck as well. So the idea is that Based on getting a lot of land out, we should be able to either play continuously more lands from the top of our deck or hit some of the big creature spells that we've got that we could play from the top as well. Uh, now, naturally, this does ramp quite a bit. So we've got Sentinel, we've got Innkeeper, Druid class is here. We can play additional lands and gain some life from the lands. The Innkeeper also gains us life from the creatures. And the fun part about all of this is if we get Scoot Swarm out, with the Innkeeper and the Druid class, we drop a land, we copy it. For every creature we get, uh, we gain a life. And then for each land, we gain a life, but we can continuously play more lands theoretically thanks to the Druid classes. So we can uh, really do some work. Now, Ashaya makes this even better because it makes all of the creatures lands in addition. So... Um, this is really meant to be silly <laughs> like that's the goal if we don't get any wins or any silly uh actions we may do a bot match just to kind of show off what this deck can do uh but essentially the rest of the deck we've got uh Sarith here this is to protect our own stuff we give everything we control hexproof which is very good it also gives death touch if we attack in nissa is here we obviously plan to get a lot of landfall triggers so this gives us recursion so we can bring back really anything that we need to uh ren and seven obviously Obviously a big powerhouse card here. Dropping that minus three is just insane. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We did just add a couple of Infernal Grasps after uh, having tested just a couple times. It's nice to have that option. We also, the life loss really isn't that big of a deal for a deck like this. So we're going to try this, guys. We're going to just have some fun today. I, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic, we will say. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into game one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And this is a pretty easy keep, honestly. Uh, while we don't necessarily just have a black land in our hand, we've got plenty of ways to get a black source. Uh, between the Sentinel as well as the Innkeeper, we should be just fine. Uh, now, the sooner we get Nissa down, the better. Obviously, it does give us uh, a little bit of extra, extra value for our land drops, uh, as well as just threaten them a lot faster. So hopefully we can make that work. Oh, and even better. Perfect, perfect. Uh, let's do this. Again, this just um, kind of helps ramp us a little bit. Now, if we want, we can just go ahead and throw the Druid class out there. Uh, part of me wants to and part of me doesn't. I'm going to try it. We're going to go for it here. Uh, the reason being, this allows us next turn to drop a land and still play the Nyssa. Uh, but we could also just level this up if we want and, and maybe do some damage that way. There's a Scoot Swarm. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's drop that. Uh, and I think we will go ahead and just try and get the Nissa down. This may not hit. Uh, negate is fairly common. We might hit, uh, you know, some kind of counter magic here, and that's fine. Uh, but I really like Nissa, surprisingly. Nissa doesn't seem that amazing, but to be honest, I've had very good luck with it. Um, now we can untap this and not create a creature. Uh, if we would like, but I think I'm going to take it and we're just going to go ahead and attack in here. Now, this may not work. I don't know. Looks like it will not. Uh, okay. Fair enough. You got me. Uh, that's not the worst thing in the world, though. It it should be fine. Uh, so I'm not terribly worried about that. 
Good to know, of course, that they're going to be running Noxious, Noxious, or Infernal Grasp. I keep saying Noxious Grasp, and that's not that card. <laughs> um, not at all. Uh, that does hurt the Scoot Swarm play a little bit here, so we are going to have to be a bit careful. All right, uh, what do we want to do? Uh, we've got some options here. We can just Scoot Swarm and then just uh, play the land, which I actually kind of like. Uh, so the reason being, if they kill it, it's fine because we can just replay it with the Nissa, uh, which is kind of perfect. Um, and that's kind of why I think Nissa is so good in this list is it gives you that recursion. They're just going to counter it, which again is fine because we just get to do this and bring it right back. Um, wait a second. Oh, man. Oh, no. Let's oops. That was a mistake. It's equal to the number of lands we control. We didn't have enough lands. That's fine. Oh, what a silly dumb play. Uh, well, we just sacrificed Nissa. That was kind of stupid. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and level this up. There's no reason not to. We'll play a land here and we'll play this. Uh, it is going to gain us a life and we'll attack in. Might as well deal a couple points of damage, uh, despite messing up a little here. <laughs> All right, now we are probably going to die. Um, I'm going to drop the Viper's Fang here. Uh, and I think we just pass. Now they have to kill the Viper's Fang if they want to do anything else. We do just have the ability to create a very, I mean, a decent 4-4. Um, it's not really great, but it's something. Uh, so let's see if we can do something amazing here. I uh, kind of doubt it. Anissa would be a pretty good draw, though. It would give us a Scoot Swarm. Ren and Seven would be really good. Uh, and hopefully help us get where we need to be. Uh, so we can block this, but I'm not going to. Although we could have... So funny enough, uh, we could have actually given these Death Touch. That's good to know. We need to try and remember that for next time. We can actually do some cool stuff. Okay, well, now we can't. Oh, well, now we can. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's send these two over here. We're going to leave one of these Sentinels up because what we can do is tap. So block, tap in response, create a mana, and then give it Death Touch because this does give tapped creatures we control Death Touch. That seems kind of good. We should have done that last turn, honestly. Um that's really clever. I really like that that's a, an ability that we have. <laughs> um, all right, cool. We're learning, guys. This is a very recent deck anyway. I just literally just put it together, and I just thought, you know, it's kind of fun. Uh, they didn't attack. Interesting. Okay, so they're, they're trying to wait and see. Hmm. So we can create the token... Uh, but the problem is it does potentially sacrifice a land for us, and I really don't want to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is attack two of these guys over here and just see what they do. These do have Death Touch. So chances are they just kind of take this, uh, but we can manage it if we'd like. Yep, they're just going to take it. That's perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, I think we just pass. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, we definitely would have been in a much better position had we done some different stuff here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, not much we can do about that. So that does take away the Death Touch play, which is a little scary because now at this point we're, we're pretty far gone. Um, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll do the best we can. We're going to take five here. Oh, uh, maybe not. Interesting. Okay, they didn't want to do it. Um, all right, let's do this. We'll auto pay here. Uh, we'll tap this guy. They might just counter. If they have a counter, I think we're pretty close to dead. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. I mean, no attacks. We can't do anything. I think we're pretty dead here. <laughs> uh, we're not drawing lands, which is a little frustrating given the kind of deck that we are we are playing here we do have the full 24 
I didn't go too heavy because we do have a lot of other ramp elements as well as Verdant Mastery that helps pull a lot of those lands out. So I wasn't terribly worried about it, but it is what it is. Um, we're not going to block. They've got two cards in hand. Excuse me. Three cards, four cards, basically. Um, oh, nice. Okay, that's clever. Sure. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> all that was for five damage, which doesn't seem necessarily like the best play, but that's fine. Um, just gonna cast for the alternate. And chances are this gets countered as well. I think if so, we're just gonna concede. Yeah, all right, we're just conceding. We messed up that game pretty hard. So let's go ahead, let's jump into game two and see if we can do better. All right, guys, here we are. We didn't do so well the first game, but we're going to do the best we can this time around. Uh, this is a definite keep. We do want to get a couple of extra lands here if possible, but we can lead on the Snarl. We've got Druid class turn two, probably just going to play the Augur the following turn um, and potentially eat a uh, removal spell here, to be honest. Um, we'll go ahead and reveal that just in case. Uh, this does not bode well for us. We are going to have to worry about uh, just the amount of damage we're going to be taking. We'll see what we can do. Cool. Uh, we could try and get a Shia down very quickly here. Wow, very aggressive hand from the opponent, uh, for sure. Let's drop this down. I think... I think we're actually going to play the Innkeeper here. So the reason being, we can just trade this Innkeeper off, if need be. Um, or at the very least eat uh, a, a spell here, like an Infuri or whatever is available in standard at the moment. Uh, and that at least saves us a little bit of damage. The Druid class is enough to gain us some life back here. Uh, and with the Shia potentially coming down, we might be in really okay shape. Not great, but okay. Um, although... All right, I'm going to wait. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> we can Scoot Swarm and then play a land that gains us two life. Dude, I'm trying it. We got to try it. Uh, I think that's cool enough. Let's do it. <laughs> that's going to gain us a life. This is going to give us another creature token, which gains us another life. And now we pass. We're at 18 and it's turn three. So that's not terrible. <laughs> uh, against this style deck, I would very much expect that we would lose a, a lot faster. We might still lose pretty fast here, but we're going to do the best we can not to, obviously. Oh, and they didn't attack. Oh, wow. Uh, that's actually really big. Okay, so we're going to do this again, gaining us a little bit of life here. Let's play the land. It's going to activate the Scoot Swarm, gain us another couple of life. And again, we just pass. Uh, now, worth noting, they're building up a pretty big army here, uh, but I guess they just don't have burn? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, this is non-token creatures, worth noting, by the way, so the new Scoot Swarm tokens do not get uh, pegged as lands. Otherwise, that would be an infinite combo. That'd be kind of sick, but that's not going to happen. All right. Uh, well, we definitely survived this turn at the very least, so that's good. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right, so we do this. That gains us some life. And I think we just play a Shia. Yeah, uh, that's pretty solid. Okay, guys, we're kind of doing it. Um, hopefully we don't just die here, but we're, we're kind of doing it. I'm kind of stoked about this. Uh, this does power all of their goblins up, by the way, so that is a little scary, but I think... Guys. Guys, I think it might be happening. Okay. Gains first strike. Okay, so they can power up once. Just something to note. Um, all right, and they did. Perfect. So we're going to do this. I think we're going to do this. We'll block here. That does have first strike in haste. Um, and I guess we'll do this. 
I mean, we can double up there, but actually no, because that can kill the Ashaya. And we can afford to take some damage here, worth noting, but we do want to kill as much as we can here. So they're going to be able to deal two damage to something. We intentionally left up enough. They can kill the Innkeeper, which would probably be the biggest hit uh, in terms of life gain here. Um, but the Augur of Autumn is going to come down, hopefully, and and get us where we need to be. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, that's very, very good, but it doesn't win. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's drop the land. <laughs> uh, let's... Um... Hmm. Let's do the play an additional land thing here. Uh, let's do it again. <laughs> uh, no, we don't play the other auger. Um, I think we attack with a Shia. I mean, that's 10 damage that they got to get around here. Um, that's a lot of damage. Um, now we do only, I mean, I say only 19, but 19 goes pretty quickly against a deck like this. They can power up multiple times with these, um, which is pretty scary. Or they're just going to activate that. Okay. Um, we can just multi-block everything with the Scoot Swarms here and sweep, essentially. They do get some, some uh, tokens and things like that here, which is good, but killing you... Killing you, you, you. All right, there we go. We did it. Oh, I'm so happy it worked. Oh, that was so nice. I love that a lot. All right, let's jump into a third game here. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Probably going to be our final game, but we'll see. Uh, depends on how long it'll go. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and again, we have the decision. Do we want to go Druid class or Innkeeper first? Um... Uh, good questions, actually. I think it's... I think it's the Druid class. We've got a Ren and Seven we want to ramp into. This deck tends to be maybe slightly slower, uh, and so we can get to the point where we can drop extra lands per turn and uh, and hopefully do some, some major damage. That's very good as well. Very, very good. Okay, uh, let's do this. Just going to keep it fairly safe and keep ourselves moving forward uh, on the life gain train. Next turn... If we want, we have Renin 7, or we can double up with Innkeeper and either Scoot Swarm or Augur. Uh, either way is pretty good. Uh, they are very clearly leaving up some stuff here. Let's try an Innkeeper. Chances are... Oh, it does land. Okay. Let's play the Augur off of the, the treasure token here. I don't really want to lose the Renin 7 just to a negate, which is very much a possibility. And here they're probably just going to kill this. Okay. Play the lands and pass. So now at the very least though, we've got, uh, we've got life gain on both fronts. So that's pretty nice. And they didn't play anything. Hmm. Let's play another uh, Prosperous Innkeeper. Let's play a Scoot Swarm. Surprised it landed. Uh, I'm not going to attack, though. And they didn't remove it, either. That's very surprising. Are they just not drawing anything? Alright, well, we got to try. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would just have multiple... <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to attack, though. Now, they may just have a sweeper, worth noting, and that's very, very easily going to kill us, but we do have a red and seven coming down, potentially. Actually, definitely. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's the red and seven. We do want to land this as quickly as we can. Let's do this. Gain a couple lands. That's really good. All right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fun part. <laughs> Let's drop this. <clears throat> Again. <laughs> 
This is why I like I really wanted to make this deck is because we could do all of this and I think it's hilarious. All right. <laughs> um <laughs> Let's see. We attack all of these here. They can block all of them, but we still kill this, I believe. So that's fine. Cuz the counter does go on it, but it goes on it after it dies, so doesn't matter. Perfect. Just get rid of that. They do learn, um, and they could very easily... They just got an environmental sciences. Okay, that's not what I expected, but sure. Um, so now we still have the minus three on the Renin 7 if we'd like it. And that's going to be perfect now. Yeah, dude, you got it. Oh, they gained so much life off of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Meat Hook Massacre kind of destroys us, but <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Um, does this get haste? Yeah, it does. Um, let's do it. Uh, let's see. I'll just go here. And we'll go here. So now we get to leave up the Infernal Grasp. We've got two 8-8s on the field. I mean, that feels pretty strong. Um, they can't Meat Hook Massacre for enough to kill both of these. Oh, they can do that, though. Um, yeah. I mean, you got it. And they do get that back. Gain some life in the process. This is an interesting game. Um, <laughs> yeah, we pass. There's another druid class. Um, let's reveal. We only get one land. Wow. Uh, let's play the druid class. It's going to gain us an extra life here. We'll play the Ashaya. Uh, which gains us another two, and I think we just pass here. Uh, curious to see what they actually do here. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. What can we do here is the question. Manlands would be pretty good in this list, I feel like. Okay, um, interesting. I'm gonna play the auger. We'll see if it lands, and it does. That's nice. Do this, play an additional land if we'd like. Um, I guess we just make another giant thing. them. This is gonna gain counters regardless, so. Kill the Eye Witch. They're obviously gonna just learn, get their probably exhibition. I don't know. Lose a life. This is an interesting game, actually, because they really can do a lot of damage to us if they'd like. Um, with that Meat Hook Massacre, they gain a lot of life, plus we can potentially lose a lot of life. So there's a lot of trade-off here. Um, very interesting. Oh, very cool. We'll wait. We'll see what they do. We kind of want them to invest the mana. Yeah, they're leaving up nothing, really. Let's go ahead and kill it here. They do get a lot of these little guys, but uh, these can't block, funny enough. So we'll see what happens. We've got the auger, so we can play some stuff off of the top of our deck here. Uh, and if we actually get the Viper's Fang down, we can do a bit more. Uh, these do have Menace, so we're going to take... Yeah, let's do that. Gonna kill one of them. 
We didn't really have to, but um, I think that it's worth it too. Oops. All right, there we go. Let's play the Viper's Fang. Now we can play creatures from the top of our deck. Let's play that. They're also lands. Um, <laughs> Right, they can only block with the Eye Witch. I'm just gonna attack them, dude. I don't know if this is correct, to be honest. I have absolutely no clue, but... I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, we also, at some point, can just kind of get them with the, the Druid class here. Um, this is a fascinating game. Very fascinating. Okay. But I'm kind of glad I didn't do... This doesn't do anything. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Alright, so these are all just going to die. Um, feels like a sweeper is coming. I guess in that case, let's do this. Take the minimal amount of damage and then probably expect them to be able to sweep. The emblem on this isn't as scary as I think some people think it might be. It's very scary for sure in against the right deck, but with the life gain that we have, it's actually not terrible. Um, it's not good, don't get me wrong. Um, yep. But crucially, what we get to do... Oh, they do get something back, don't they? Okay, that's a little annoying then. Yep. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try and kill this here. I guess they, but see, the problem is they can just get it back. Oh man, this is a tricky one. It's a very tricky one. Opponent has has played pretty well here, um, so well done on their end. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. Yep. I think they're probably going to get us here. Um, I'm trying to think what we could get back out of our... Well, land's not going to do it, is it? Um, we do gain some life, but that's not enough, obviously. Alright, well, guys, I think we might be dying. What? Oh, that's fun. Uh, yeah, that's really fun. Dang, okay. What an interesting little card. Yep. <laughs> We're so dead. <laughs> Uh, we'll see what we draw on this upcoming turn, but chances are we are very dead here. Um, I'm gonna concede. Let's chat about this, guys. <laughs>
All right, so at the very least, we did get it see we did get to see what this deck is meant to do, and it is very fun. It's a silly deck. We knew we were gonna probably lose some of these games, and uh, we did. Uh, <laughs> no surprise there, but it was really really fun regardless. I do like this one. I think it's a really silly one. You can do some very very powerful things with it, uh, but it does take a lot of setup. So I I don't think it's good for best of one by any means, but might sneak a win every once in a while so if you just want to have some fun try this one out it's not that great but it was really fun to to play <clears throat> as well as put together here so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you like the video please feel free to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already we'd greatly appreciate having you as part of the it resolves community but until next time guys i'll see you then.